bread, lemon bread, lemon bread, lemon bread, lemon bread. Hello, and welcome to the lemon Sword and Spear bread. podcast. I'm your host, Bizarre, and here I have... And, and here I have my friends, Source, the Weeb, Human Trash, the trashiest ever, and Fall Knight. Well, ow, first off... <laughs> Well, Fall Knight doesn't do much. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, for um, our first topic, um, how about we explain how, how our group got this oh, name? God has died. No, no. Oh, wait, that too. Yeah, no, 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 that too. That too. And, and, no. <laughs> that, um, uh, it was Karen. me, Trash, Crimson, Karen. Yeah, our friend Crimson, who is currently absent from the podcast right Carrot. now, but he'll be in future videos. Carrot. Oh my god. I don't understand why you're doing this, man. <laughs> it's my bit, dude. I don't know what you want from me. But, um. It, it was me. It's my carrot PNG, okay, All right. man? It, no, no. It has to be my bit. Alright, but listen. Alright, so it was, it was me, Trash, and Crimson. We, and we were. Knock? We were having a little bit of an, an a discussion Karen, turned you know. argument about Karen, um Karen, Karen, Karen. Wh which would win in a in a fight between a sword and a spear. I was on the side of right. no, no, I was on the side of the spear, and the spear sucks. No, and so was our friend, uh, <laughs> and so was our other friend, present spear as well. And and uh and trash and and trash and crimson. Oh my god, this is already starting off very badly. <laughs> carrot sword, carrot sword, carrot sword, carrot sword, carrot sword. In any uh, it was serious. Seriously, in in defensive position. Right, but yes, we were having in a, we were having um at, oh my god, I'm doing way too much stuttering. We we're having a, an argument about which would win between a which would win in a fight between a sword and a spear and well, there's pretty much not really much to say after that. But yes, that is pretty much how this group got his name cuz this got in I was right. <laughs> Because let's just say that um the argument we had was um v went very dumb. It went very dumb. No no no! I was bringing up tactics from the Middle Ages, and you just kept yelling spear. No, that that's no. I was I was giving very good points. You were the one giving <laughs> very the better. No, you, you were the one giving bad argument. Argument. The argument back up right here. No oh, no bet. no. Have but yeah good. that. Yes, um... Let's do it. Let's do it. No. Bring it. Bring it, you pansy. But, um, we have some... F we have some friends who said they would be, um... A part of the podcast, but, um, they couldn't make it currently. They might show up later, but... Person is still making fried rice. Yeah, and I I'm yeah. pretty sure Dracula's asleep. We don't... He's Australian. We don't recommend him. <laughs> <laughs> no, Aussies are awesome. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. They'd be like emus and all oh. that. <clears throat> and then they get me. beaten by the emus. <laughs> yes, we we all know that emus are the one things that can take down Australians. But um. That and a very big tank. Yes, that that too. Am I, that am too I can also. Newer, am I one of the newer recruits? I don't know. Are you? Right. you you've been here for a long while. It's like I've only been here for two years. I think. it's... Uh, most of these people you know better, right? I've been here for 10,000 years and he still doesn't know my favorite color. Dra Dra Dracula's, Dracula's a bit new here, oh. but, um, oh. anyways, uh, start the, to start the conversations off, um, I first think we already started the conversation. Anyway, Carrot Army, rise up. Yeah. Um, first off, um, uh, season two of Demon Slayer has been announced. Uh, I don't even know what that is, nor do I care. Um... Oh, uh, well, you're Don't really... Watch the show. Beep, yeah. beep, copy that gap. Oh, well, then you're really gonna like this one. Uh, season 2 of Goblin Slayer has been announced as well. I already knew this. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna be a crossover within the next minute. I'm gonna be mad. A crossover with what? 
is supposed to be in mid-2021. That's great. Yeah. When the world needed him most, he vanished. Welcome to content. I got a topic idea. Um, okay, um... What's something... The universe, I can talk about that one. What's something you wouldn't mind flexing on others about? My waifu. <laughs> well, we are um... Care. <laughs> Says the wife who has the giant melons. Yes. No. No. Welcome no, no. to YouTube. Uh, yes, I uh, use waifu unironically. You disgust me to my very and... core, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Please go back to Oh god. Sans. Uh... Um. If I had to say, you, what? Old demon. Uh... Girl, what is... He's become more powerful. Crap, what would be... What's something I wouldn't mind flexing on those that, uh... Um... What would you... You made the topic and you couldn't think of anything? Lost... <laughs> Don't you judge me. I lost, uh... I, I, got, yeah, I got lost... Apparently I got lost in the void. I don't... Nothing really happened in there. It's just blank. Well, yes, it is the void. Kind of lonely. You were sent to the Shadow Realm, <clears throat> is what you're saying. Not the, no, not the Shadow Realm, the void. That pretty it's much like what the Shadow Realm is. The Shadow Realm's little brother. Who <laughs> gives magic space children? Because, because unlike the Shadow Realm, the void can be escaped. Mm, arguably. <clears throat> Something changed about me. I don't know what. Um... No void, no void. Hey, I, I guess something I would area. probably flex on others, but is um, uh, how often I get donuts. Donuts. How does go from how does go from eating each other to donuts? I don't know. I think carrot. Honestly, we should we should just talk about how we met each other. <clears throat> Mm, that would also be a like, very good topic, episode, considering this video, uh, considering this podcast started. has started off very poorly. So yes, let's start off how you made it. This has started off fantastically. <laughs> okay, so I'll go first. Um, uh, how I met, how I met Trash was um, we met on a we met on a match in a Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and the cursed game. Yes, yeah, and um. And after and after playing a few matches with them, I decided, you know, I'm a friend of them on Steam. And, and then the worst thing to ever happen happened. <laughs> Honestly. Then um. If it's for my own life. Courtship. Then 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 I met Source through Crimson. How'd you meet Crimson? Uh, I met him. School. Yeah, I met Crimson on um back in freshman year of high school, back in our back in our um history teacher's class. Um, and he was friends with uh, I, I met Crimson through our friend uh, President Spear and uh because of that um I ended up be befriending them and um and I think in junior year, it was either junior year or sophomore year, I ended up meeting, I ended up meeting, uh, Source, and, well... It was sophomore. Yeah, you were a sophomore when I met you. And it was, then we've known each other, and Fall Knight, we met Fall Knight through our other friend, Hidden, who, once again, is uh, another one of our group members who currently... Who currently couldn't be here at the moment? No, no. Did you just say seppuku? What, what was your first? What, what was your first impression of me? Actually, you haven't told me. Uh, told me that. Um. Here, which one are you talking to here, bud? You need to. Uh, you think he's talking to me? I. I. My first impression was of you was that um. I don't know. I. I knew you were an anime fan. Um. I actually um. Uh, since since I met you through Crimson and the fact that you were a sophomore, so you were great below us. Um, I kind of thought of you as kind of like Crimson's sidekick. I 
Says the man who embodies Damian Wayne. <laughs> hey, no, no one's gonna even over this. I would be Nightwing. <laughs> and sources who went silent. Oh no. Yeah, Source is dead. Rest in peace. <laughs> they get pissed would off. You sword. Would you rather him just randomly start cutting, or would you rather him mute himself and then cut? My. I don't have a problem with swearing on the podcast, so. My, my first impression with Bryce uh, was him punching somebody in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my that was my that was one of my first introductions to you. The, <laughs> that, that, that was back in that was back in junior year of high school. Yeah, um, yeah, me and me and Source didn't exactly know each other very well at that the time, but yes, but yeah, that is. I'm not gonna say. Your shit clocked in. I'm not gonna say that is a bad way or a good way for okay, someone so to get to know me. I think. I think what happened was that somebody splashed orange juice on him, on Bryce. So then he, he proceeded to try mad. and flick him in the face. No, I know what happened was that we were all the way around and then clocked the guy in the face. And then, and and then immediately, and the teachers just dropped the whole thing. The guy didn't even fight back. <laughs> no, no, that was, uh, we, me, me and that oh, guy, me and the guy, not very game. I, I know what you're talking about. Me and that guy later, later did become friends after that. But um, like what happened was that, no, but um, what happened was that, um, for for the past couple of weeks, um, they have kindly been getting, they've kind of been getting on my nerves and been annoying me, and then like. On that day, I was trying to um, discuss with one of our other friends who who aims to become a game designer in the future uh, about some video game ideas since I also aim to be a character designer. And so, uh, so, and so I was trying to talk to them, but they kept purposely interrupting interrupting us and, t- and telling us to shut up just to just, just be annoying. And so, like, I, and, so, um, and so to get them to stop, I... I um push their orange juice you onto the a war crime. No, no, no. I I push their orange juice onto their lap and like because that um they proceeded to splash the remains of their orange juice onto my uh, onto me, and in and, and because of that um wait wait so you poured the orange juice onto his lap? No, I I. I and I, you expected no I, retaliation. I, I pushed. They, they, they were cutting me off. I was trying to discuss. So your immediate idea was violence. No, not violence. It was just to get them to stop. They were bugging me, so I just pushed their orange juice onto their lap. And I call that like, violence. Wait, no, so like, like the, like the carton, like unopened. Uh, oh, no, it was open. I knew it was opened. It was open. Okay, so. Basically, you're saying you started at first. <laughs> I did not. Uh, I. I did not. As a man of I, forensics, I can confidently say he did it. In my defense, I. I don't want to say. The past is the past. You made up with him. Whatever. Yeah. Everything's on fire. In my defense, like I don't exactly like being cut off, especially when people are doing it on purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very simple PSA: never go near Bryce. He will punch you. If no. you say something, <laughs> he will spill your orange juice. He is a dangerous man. <laughs> spill your orange juice? Yes, yes. It's not the punching you have to fear. I'll, I'll splash your freaking juice all over, you, all over you, and walk away. Yes. A crime worse than death. <laughs> I can't believe. I can't believe you would do that. <laughs> Bryce, also, that's kind of a, that's a war crime. At least Bryce is nice enough just to dump it. or just to shove it on their lap. Me, I would take their orange juice and I'd open it up. If it wasn't already open, just dump it right over their head along with their carton of milk. And here we are in a room of psychopaths who are willing to waste <laughs> orange juice. I am willing to take. Okay, I'm willing. This Not sounds like a lost confession tape. <laughs> What murder? <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm I'm surprised. I just didn't get into a straight up fight. Uh, when I'm I was... gonna have to edit this so much for it to be YouTube friendly. Oh my god. Uh, um, I'm not gonna because... be. I'm not gonna be editing out. When I was in high school, uh, this guy on the table was annoying me and a friend of mine. Wait, well, you're still in high school. Well, yeah. 
What what grade Should you I should? Say, did you say sophomore? Yeah, sophomore. It's it's sophomore. My my sophomore year, I was in cooking class, and this guy at our table was annoying me and my friends. Uh, she was getting hit on by him, and she was very uncomfortable. Uh, I was in a rough mood that day, and I wasn't having it. And then he started talking to me, uh, started cutting me off. Uh, started bragging about, ooh, I have money and you don't, and I socked him in the, uh, in the arm. You know what? <laughs> the arm? You, know what? you didn't yeah, even I... go for the stomach, bro? No, I'm just nice like that. I just, <laughs> I don't resort to violence, but when I need to, I just, just well, I didn't, well, I didn't need to, but it was annoying. <laughs> so I just socked him in the person. arm. He talked to me back, and that was it. That was my, that was just that was my weak uh, um, excuse as a fight. <laughs> um, I, I actually have a story uh, back in coaching class. Um, this is back. This is back in uh, freshman year. Um, uh, I, um, the, at our school, I, uh, for a cooking class, our teacher would um after a certain number of weeks, our teacher would um have us mix up our groups again. And be paired with um certain number of different with certain number of different kids, it just to you know create interaction and and teamwork. And of course, as teachers do. Right, and so um the and so um the and so after the first week of after the first few weeks of uh cooking class, I ended up getting paired with um with this group of boys is um. Uh, I think uh, one of them was obviously Asian. Uh, the other two, I think, were Hawaiian. They also looked uh, Asian. They might have been Filipino or Taiwanese. I could not tell. Oh, and, no, 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 no. And All then, Asians look the same. I'm Asian. I can confirm. Uh, okay, uh, okay. At least we have somebody. Yeah, well, I can't agree with that. Right. But then, anyways, and then one of the other guys who really got on my nerves was um the, was this um one one white white kid, um and so it was it was the five of us, we, and, and everything was going fine. But um uh they were kind of like uh they weren't exactly picking on me all, all too much, but still we're doing it to get a little bit under my nerves, and um. Under my nerves. Yeah, yeah, under my nerves. And um and so one day um and one day I and again I will say that and again I a lot of times in our cooking class I would always put I would pull out my sketchbook and draw whenever I didn't have anything to do, even on our teacher like didn't want us sitting down on our tables when it was time to cook, even if there was nothing to do. Their teacher wanted us to still at least be sitting around, just be prepared, and, and so like obviously, so I can understand that. But um, uh, one one time while we were sitting down at our table, um, uh, uh, dang it, <sighs> um, I put I had my I had my sketchbook put away in my backpack, and like our teacher um uh, had us. Had our group um, uh, fold some towels for the kitchen class, uh, for the for the cooking class since the, since our class so, saying it, since our group already were finished with the meal we made. So while our group was folding was folding the towels, um, the 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 white kid from before um the um. He decided. Uh, I had my phone sitting on the table, and um, he decided to um, uh, squirt some hand sanitizer on it. And again, the screen was facing upwards, so the hand sanitizer got on the screen. And again, like, and like, I know, and like, even though I know that couldn't like damage, couldn't damage the phone at all. Still, like, I I don't like having my property disrespected. I don't like when people disrespect other people's property in general and so when he did that i grabbed one of the towels and immediately slapped him with it and like yeah and um gave him like just tone off with a quick warning to to pretty much just watch himself like i 
He was like, there's only so much bullshit I can take before, like, before I, before I start getting actually physical. But, uh, but, um, yeah, like, um, but yeah, the, they still tease me, they, they still ended up teasing me, uh, at, on the days after that, but still, they didn't, like, disrespect my stuff afterwards. Yeah, um, you guys got any, uh, you guys got any, uh, school stories? If you're asking me to incriminate myself with a crime, no. <laughs> I remember my, uh, my freshman year, me and a buddy of mine, we ended up, we didn't do our homework because, well, we were, let's just say we were doing stuff we shouldn't have. Uh, okay. And, uh, Bro, we didn't talking about drugs. Yes. We didn't do our homework, so the teacher, the punishment the teacher thought of was to put us in a corner, right? The thing is, he didn't think, he didn't think that we wouldn't be on our phones texting back and forth like, hey, this shit was, this shit's funny. Like, we don't care. It was, don't get me wrong, it was funny. Because every time we'd start laughing, he'd, he'd look at us and be all like, so is there anything that you want to tell the class why you two are laughing we're like yeah you put us in a corner what do you think we are five he's just like he's all i mean it's either the corner or we, i could send you to the principal's office i'm all really what do you think the principal's gonna do he's terrified of my mother oh. let alone terrified of my brother my older brother like come on man what makes you think that he he's not terrified oh you're, you're also wait are you the youngest in your family no, my little brother, Sean, the one that, oh. uh, uh. Qu and I quote, stole part of Hayden's name, hmm. or Hayden, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Right. He, it was funny, because he ended up calling my, uh, my older brother, and my older brother was like, well, I can't do nothing right now, um, I'm not even, I'm not even in town. He called my mom. My mom wasn't in town. wasn't in town because she was with my older brother. Mm. And then he called my dad. It was funny for it was funny for me, but my dad was like, "What happened here?" And the principal was like, "Oh, they smell like this." And I'm like, "I don't smell like that, mind you." I just I sprayed. I was spraying cologne on top of my clothing and my backpack on the way there and like and besides I, I also smell like sweat I just got done with PE like I I did PE completely screwed out of my mind so I'm just like nah you know what whatever my dad's not gonna just say much so I get home dad goes to my backpack he finds nothing he searches the clothing I was wearing finds nothing so I go go back to school the next day. He, the principal, searched me, and I was like, "Yes, yeah, searched me yesterday. What makes you think I'm gonna have anything on, on me or in my backpack?" He's like, "It's just a force of habit from kids that bring, bring drugs into the school." And I'm just like, "Do you think I'm dumb?" And mind you, when I walked into walked into the office to see to get what I to see what I was missing and go home I went to walk out of the office and the te and then the vice principal he hated he hates my guts he's just all you know, where do you think you're going and I'm like home why you can't leave campus I was like well technically I can because I'm only here to get my schoolwork you're not suspended yeah I am and the principal, he walked out with the suspension paper, so my dad, so my mom signed it, signed him, and was all like, he's like, you're lucky, and I was like, I was like, what? I was all, what did I do to piss you off? Is it just because I don't say hi to you like I do everyone else? Or is it just that you're, you have a, you have problem with, problems with kids who have IEPs? <laughs> Yeah, that... after, after that, my teacher, that, prin my, that prin 
the vice principal did not like me, so now I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> this yeah. school year sucks at this point. Yeah. Um, uh, while I while I never had um, uh, for me while I never had a principal uh, hate me um, uh, back in kindergarten. Uh, back, um, I had a. I had this one t teacher, um, uh, I'm not gonna, say uh, names. yeah, I'm not gonna say her name, uh, so I'll just, uh, uh, th um, so I'll just make up a name, we'll, we'll call her Miss Thumple Rumpakiss, I don't know, yeah, so, <laughs> Miss Thumple Rumpakiss, <laughs> the thing is, for some reason, like, out of all the kids, like, I don't know what I could have possibly did, but, um, she hated me the most. Like, like, in fact, I think she only disliked me. It wasn't, like, like, she didn't treat any of the other boys this way. She didn't treat any of the other girls this way. She acted this way mainly towards me. Like, whenever, like, whenever I did something, like, yell at another kid, like, like, um... Uh, um, like for instance, one time in kindergarten, I ended up getting to the situation where I ended up yelling at at this one girl, and um, uh, had to pick up chicks one one, yell at them. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I think that um, usually um, how do you think how do you think a kindergarten teacher would react when they saw a student yelling at another student with? Like, and again, I did end up making this girl cry from yelling at her. Like, um, but how would you think a mature person who, who again, is responsible for uh, lo looking over young kids would react? You would think they'd be like... T hey, Dad, you back in the mystery. Uh, um, how do you think... Th how do you think a kindergarten teacher... Do you think they would... Do you think they would like tell tell them that is do do you think they would tell them that that is not a p polite way to to react, and, and that they should go 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 and go sit in the corner? The, and like, what? Well, like me would not like the way I act or the way I dress now. Um, how? Sorry. Um, crap. Do you think a te do you think a normal kindergarten teacher would like you know just tell the kid to like go sit in the corner and tell them that, that was a very naughty or bad thing to do? What this lady what this lady does after 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 again I I screamed after I ended up causing this girl to cry after yelling at her, which again I was a young kid, so again kids are getting be acting this way. This, 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 this freak, Miss Thumble Rumpakiss, freaking gets gets all up in my face, and and like and, and like and tells me in a, in almost like a hissing vo voice voice. I don't forget what she said, but she like t told me off in a very like hissing and and mean tone like that. Like that is not how you talk to a freaking kid. Like, you, do you not realize what child you are? Do you not realize what type of person you're dealing with? This isn't. This isn't like some freaking teenager or an adult that you're dealing with. This, this is like a little kid who, who just had another kid, and you're gonna freaking get up all in their face. And like, I ended up starting crying because again, I can't remember what she said, but like. But it was, it was like, caused me to cry, and like, I ended up having to sit in time out. But like, the freak. I hated that when, pe when my kindergarten teacher put me in time out. That it, it was just, but it wasn't time out that was the problem. It was the way she acted. And she, then she would on perp my kindergarten teacher would on purpose would just be all like, "Go sit in the corner," and I'm like, and she'd be, I'd, I'd kind of look at her with the with the expression on my face like. Who are you yelling at? Yeah, I I hate those type of authorities. I do not like when those type of people are in charge of kids. Cause well, like, well, she's yelling at me. Well, she's yelling the whole <laughs> class. Like everyone else is busted up laughing. Me and me and my group, me and me and my uh, group of three or four different kids got all sat together because we were all these 
bad kids were all we busted up laughing all the other kids literally all of them walked to the same corner and just like started quivering in fear because they we never they never heard that teacher yell well me and these me and the group of kids i was with we heard that teacher yell left and right at us she was she we'd get up we'd go start from our pencil like right in the middle of when she's talking like we'd be doing like math home like math work or like our uh abcs or whatnot or vocabulary and then we would on purpose want each and every one of us one after the other would get up and start walking to the pencil sharpeners that are on the other side that are on all four corners of the room two were electrical and two were were manual me and one kid ended up going to the two that were manual and me and or two other kids would go to ones that were uh the hand crank and then the other would literally sit there with a pit with a pen pen or a pencil tapping on their desk while we're sharpening the pencil and the teacher started yelling she was all like the four of you go sit down we're just all like hmm. mind you i was like five yeah i was five and i didn't put up with people yelling at me unless it was my mom or my dad which was understandable i mean Oh, my mom and dad still terrify me to this day. <laughs> but that's besides the point. The teacher, the teacher uh, called the principal, and the principal was all like, "What's going on here?" The teacher's all, "These four kids, well, these five kids are all make are being being disrespectful." She's like, "How are they being disrespectful?" She's like, "One was tapping their pen or pencil, and the other four got up and started sharpening them." Um. <laughs> Was all like, how do you expect them to do their work if they don't have a sharpened pencil? It is your job to have a sharpened pencil on their desk. Uh, uh, uh. The principal knew I had mechanical pencils. I just never used them until first, second grade. Can't remember, but that teacher still hated me. Every time uh, I walked past her classroom, she poked my head and said hi. She's all, she'd look at me and she'd, uh, she'd point a finger and yell at me, get out of my classroom. I'm not in your fucking, I'm in your doorway. Um. Um. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Um. Uh. Because, uh. Because your microphone, um. I only understood, um. A, a f f few of those things you said. <laughs> ah. Uh, but hey, it's, it's alright, man. It's alright. Um, and, and Human Trash just muted himself, even though he hasn't even said anything after... Saying carrot every now and then. Yeah, that, that, that was at the beginning, he's just... It's... It's literally just us at this point. I have no clue what Source is doing. But, um... Uh, if... But, um... Another story that I have from a kindergarten is um, one one time, one time, uh, in kindergarten, I was just, I was doing what you would expect a kid to do, and I ended up drawing on my desk, not with not not with a crayon, not with a sharpie. In fact, I don't think I even was allowed to use a sharpie at that age, but with a pencil, hey. a, a pencil, a pencil, exactly. It a pencil, something that is easy to erase and get off, and and um because of that um since I drew my desk like obviously because I was a kid I started irrationally panicking and was sitting there the entire day wondering like oh no what what do I do what do I do how would I, I, I don't want to get in trouble for yeah for I got I got rid of it I got to get rid of it. Yeah, but like I, I didn't like again. Like I didn't even think to erase it or anything, because again, childhood irration, irrational minds. But like, you know, sitting there the entire day trying to figure out what do I do, and eventually, um, at some point the teacher saw, and so at the end of the day, um, the teacher made me sit back while she had the rest of my, rest of my classmates leave, and um, she. She had the school. She had um my mom called up by the school, and my mom came in. Oh and, no! Oh no! It's all fine when the mother's in. 
Especially my mom. Right. The, the, the thing is that. So my teacher tells my mom what happened, and the teacher told my mom how how much it would cost to um for the for the repairs I say in quotes for for um for for to, for for fixing or replacing the desk and like my mom was confused and like the teacher said I had vandalized school property again a pencil the teacher said I vandalized the freaking wooden desk with a pencil my mom instead of getting mad at me like my mom was still upset with me because of the fact I did something so stupid but like still Still, my mom was wasn't as as pissed at me as she was with the teacher in the school system. And my mom, my mom, my mom told told them off, and and I I was standing there nervous because I was still a kid. I was I it was confused. On, I was I was confused on what was going on. I was afraid I was still getting in trouble, which I mean I still technically was, but still like my mom like said she will not be she will not be having our family pay for the costs of that desk and and that it was an easily fixable thing and that they easily could have just told me to grab a towel or something and clean it up and, and but the teacher went to the whole expense of yeah, the, calling your mom right, and making a big deal out of it and you're right, said, like, yeah yeah the teacher said yeah and the teacher said that like well she well she written kids up about situations like this before and all my mom could say was pretty much shame on her for for putting poor kids through that for being little poor kids families having to pay for something so small and 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 plus and also my teacher said that not on, that when they rent that when she written kids up for things like that before it also went on those kids permanent records and that's also the main reason why my mom uh why my mom got pit, pissed and told and told the teacher shame on her and like and my mom also told the teacher that she will not be letting this go on my permanent record because again my teacher said my teacher said that me drawing on the desk would be classified as vandalism under my permanent record, like, and again, you know how you know how bad that can really screw a kid up, like, because yeah. like, again, school it seat. Is done. My new Minecraft skin, finally. Oh, congrats! Oh, Girl. you kind of you kind of jumped in the middle of something. Oh, I went to go get food. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> oh, my, my family came rat. bursting into my room. Nice, nice. Uh, as they do. As they do. Uh, okay, is that why you were silent? Yeah. Sorry. I mean, well, uh, I, had, I had a lot of things to say. Okay. Okay. Yes, the, I want you to try out the skin. I think I did a very good job with it. Okay. You guys just you guys just missed me and Fall Night discuss our crappy school stories. Oh no, we were here. Oh. We were listening. Oh. Okay. That's why I had a lot of things to say. Oh, okay. Then I'll just say them in a second. But um, but um, yeah. My teach, my freaking kindergarten teacher. Like my my mom was not about to let Miss Thumper Rub Thumper Rub a kiss or whatever, let let put the put vandalism under my permanent record over drawing on a desk with a pencil, and like, and when my mom told her off, like the um, the entire the she ended up my mom did end up having to talk to um the the people who run the school as well and no lie from what from from what from what i heard the people who ran the school end up scared of my mom yeah that sounds the, about that's like me my parent my yeah. parent, my mom <laughs> yeah let's not let i do not want to explain the uh story of my of me in fourth grade yeah, that's not a story that is appropriate. Right, but yes, uh, eh, but us. Uh, uh, it's alright, right, and we're fine with sharing it, so that yeah, makes it we're, appropriate. We're, probably, but, just, we're but, probably just a bunch of kids doing a bunch of things that we didn't know was wrong, and right? I mean, we're just curious kids. But when an adult tells off a kid, 
just for uh, running on the, on the desk, that kind of gets me riled up. Then again, uh, when I think of it, uh, I think the adults are just like, oh, this kid's gonna become a, like, kid. Uh, some kind of thug or something. Artist. Right. Or something like that. Right. But again, like that that's just society views that that the teachers had. But like still like one of the reasons why I hate these type of people being in charge of kids because I it, 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 from my perspective hey, I know, fi- but like you guys ever hear of this thing called carrot? No, no, but, but um but um the reason I hate these people being in charge of kids because I feel like from my perspective I I feel like it has something to do not with wanting to teach these kids, but with wanting power. Cause like you don't, cause you oh, don't. Anyone who was a teacher was a megalomaniac. Right, exactly. You don't, you don't get as much power as you do in life compared to when you are in charge of children. When you are in charge of children. You have the ultimate authority and power which yes that does mean that anything that the kids do um can kind of be blamed on you for then happen but still because you are in charge of kids that means you have the ultimate power over those children and that's and that's one of the problems i have with the freaking school system in society it is the it is the, the <laughs> it is an annoying Whoa. obsession with Whoa. power Whoa. the what? Like when you like when like when you were become when you sign up to be a teacher, your job is to you know teach, not not be a freaking overlord of these little munchkins. Carrot. Yeah. But uh. Of these little children who don't know what's right and wrong. You are exactly. Is right and wrong, and you are supposed to teach them valuable not. things they're going to need throughout life. Not pointless facts about oh you're not gonna always have a calculator on you. Right. Because nowadays <laughs> or or the mitochondria is the power of the uh, power of uh, powerhouse of the cells. Yeah. Like I just want to pay bills and be able to be able to eat without struggling. I don't need to learn about the freaking mitochondria. I don't. It's, 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 no, it's, you you gotta understand. The mitochondria no, is the power of. Power I don't need to know why a, freaking animals like, have camouflage. I don't need. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I take financial algebra. I know how to do taxes and W twos. This this is, sounds like a you problem. <laughs> right, exactly. yeah, but see, honestly, yes, that's a problem. Like a lot of the a lot of the classes that can be helpful for kids aren't mandatory. Yet the ones financial th- algebra is a fucking clusterfuck. <laughs> Still, it oh. still taught you how to pay bills. So even, so even though it's so I'm even, still taking it. yes, but still, it still taught you uh, uh, something that can actually help you in life. So even if it sucks and it's no, <laughs> honestly, <maybe>. so, like, <laughs> I remember going to one of my uh, my uh, trips that I that I went and came home from uh, my sixth grade year. Or, no, my fifth grade year. I went to Shady Creek, but it was known as Woodleaf, but now I'm just like, eh. Mm. Guys, help the carrots are taking over. Help up. <laughs> um, uh, but, um, does anyone have any, uh, does anyone have any, uh, love rejection stories? Uh, not any of that I'm willing to share. Come at me, you orange bastards. I'll make sure you're the last one on the veggie list. I am not willing to share any of these stories I have. Um. Ah, yeah, come at me! Um, You're the worst vegetable. Like, oh. Uh, Long uh, story short, all my relationships have been really <laughs> shitty, and I do not want to go into them because those. The only, those... the only, the only anonymous like, uh, thing I can say, or like feel like saying is that I uh in middle school I was thinking of having a uh, girlfriend right right or an idea yeah um my parents talked me out of it and I ended up breaking up with her the next day oh Christ oh I just let I just, me guess as the carrots are back uh no I I exploded. 
Outsides are outsides. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, uh, for me, um, this story... Yeah, I just made a vegetable soup over here, and by that I mean I shot a lot of carrot people. For me, this story also takes place back in kindergarten, um... So, Vegetable Swiss cheese. So, it, it, so, it, so, um, there was this girl in my class, um, I have no clue what her name, I completely forgot what her name was, um, so I'll just na make up a name, well, it's yeah. probably for the best. If you can't remember Janet. what it was, it's probably for the best. It's well, probably well, Janet. No, no, why it's would it be Fizzle. Janet? That is... It's Miss Fizzle. Miss <laughs> Fizzle. <laughs> I, name, just like Becky does. No, no, no. We we can get to cartoon crushes oh, later. We can get to we can we can get to crushes on fictional characters later. But all right, Mary Poppins, let's go. Ahead no, but um, uh, we'll just make up a name. Uh, we'll we'll call this we'll call this girl. I don't know. We'll freaking Becky. Freaking flower. We'll call them flower because that's the first thing that can come to my head. Becky. <laughs> Becky. Becky. What? Becky. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, so, there's a, so, so, anyways, there was this girl named, Becky, Becky, so, 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 oh my god, okay, Becky, Becky, Becky. okay, fine, I guess we'll call them Becky. Yeah, let's go! Oh my god. So, anyway, so, anyways, there's this girl in my kindergarten class named Becky. <laughs> Did you want some fuck? No, I was, I was a freaking young child, I didn't know what the fuck was. Anyways, 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 I, anyways, I was walking, I was walking through the hallway with, uh, Christ, with. Christ, do you not know where the name Becky comes from and the meme behind it? Um, I know that's a uh, stereotypical that's white girl. Well, I know that's stereotypical just white. Just let him believe. Just let him believe. Alright, yeah. No, I love Anyway, anyways, I was walking through the hallway with, uh, with my best friend, with uh, one of my best friends. Um, once again, I'll give them a fake name, um, Jim, uh, Jack, um, Jack and Joe are not there. Uh, give him the name of Steven. How about Slim Jim? We'll call him Slim Jim. So it was, no, so me and that. Slim Jim were walking through the <laughs> on our way back to class and like we were looking at, uh, and we were looking at some of our class pictures that were posted outside of the class on, on the hallway and, um, like. We were talking, talking about kids in our class, and like ended up talking, about, and we ended up talking about our crushes, and like he put into his crush, which was I think this one, a uh, Hispanic or Latina girl, and like I told him, and like and he and he and and, and he asked me what who my crush was, and I told him that um it was it was it was Becky, and um and um. And obviously, I ended up getting yeah. tricked, and so because of that, he decided to he um, he decided to run back into class because he knew like she was there that day at at, at school, and so he decided to tell her that. So he's uh, no 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 don't do this. He already ran off, and so like so because of that, I was thinking in my head, okay, if he's gonna if he's gonna freaking tell my crush, I. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking t tell his, and so I went in class trying to find his crush, but sadly, like she wasn't there on that school day, and he eventually got to Becky, and um, Becky, and um, and um, he whispered in her ear, um, that that I liked her, and and like it was across the room, I was across the classroom, by the way. I but I saw them, but I saw that I turned around and saw him all the way from across the classroom saying that. And like, and as soon as he I said that, I saw her qu quickly turn around and loudly yell, "Ew!" in the classroom. Bro, I hate those types of kids. <laughs> The, the ones I, who tell the, the crushes that they like, the, uh, they like you, or, or you like them, I, or, and, and those, and those people who shout you. Yeah, if I yeah, ever the, tell a story like that, the, it will get violent really freaking quick. Yeah, like, I was, I was embarrassed, but, um, I, I, I don't think I ended up mad at my friend Slim Jim after that, but, uh, and, uh, funny enough, um, back in junior year, he actually, coincidentally, ended up 
going going to the same school as, school as me and Source. But, so yeah, it was nice to see uh, a childhood long time friend friend once again after so many years. It, I'm sorry. I would have kept that grudge. Alright, I just got back what I asked. Nah. I would have kept that grudge. That grudge is like, alright, bud. You and me, let's fight right now and let's see who wins. Nah, I didn't keep that grudge. He, he's actually really chill. Bring I it, think it, I think it. he's working to become a basketball player. Yeah. But, your, bud. Yeah. But um, but I like what Human Trash said earlier about Miss Frizzle. Um, does anyone have any freaking um, any uh, uh, growing up? Did any of you have any crutches on any fictional or cartoon characters? Oh, all the time. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> no, I was a pure kid until I figured out what anime it was. <laughs> I was quote unquote pure until I found out what High School GXD was back then. <laughs> I started watching it and I was like, Yo, this is actually poggers though. I was, I was pure. Like, I was pure till I learned what Boku no Piku was. And now he masturbates three times a day. <laughs> <laughs> Not to that. <laughs> Wait. Uh, scrub. No, but um, uh, but um, if you have to edit, fuck it. No, but um, does any but uh, if anyone has any uh fictional cartoon crushes, uh, who wants to go first? This is an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting for weeaboos. All right, come on. Not just so, no, so it's not just weeaboos. It's just it's just freaking animated characters in general. I right, fine then, fine then. This is an Alcoholics Anonymous for weirdos. Now say your name. <laughs> See what happened. No, no, I'm so curious on why you like said Miss Frizzle. Like, did you find Miss Frizzle attractive when you were a kid? God, no. <laughs> I also said Mary Poppins. What the hell's wrong with you? You were into Mary Poppins? Jesus H Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm editing all this out. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be really funny if I started str if I was streaming this entire time. <laughs> oh, God, are you really? No, no. Okay. <laughs> it would be funny though. Yo, do not give me a heart attack like that. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> um, uh, cra um, uh, crap. I don't. While on God. human traffic, freaking Twitch. Oh, hey. Yeah, I have a bunch of friends Wait. that are just talking about random things in school. Why are you on a call with them? I don't know. It just sounded like funny. It just sounded fun before. Now I'm just eh. Wait, I don't uh, know. Wait, um, do you guys remember that uh red-haired chick from uh Foster's Home for Imaginary fr for Imaginary Friends on Cartoon Network, fr Frankie? I was about to say. Fr I was about to say. I think it's. I think your name's Frankie, but yeah, I wasn't too sure. I. I was I was one of the kid I was one of those kids who who had a crush on Frankie. <laughs> the, the, Thus ending the never ending cycle of his lust for redheads. No, no I'm into short hair chicks, not red. <laughs> no. Yo, long haired girls for the win. There's more to pull. No. Oh, there, buddy. <laughs> It's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a. I can guarantee you, if this, uh, if this ever goes up on YouTube, oh, that there's gonna be it lot, is. There's gonna be a lot of editing because YouTube has been one of those like, oh hey, you can't cuss in your videos, hey, but yet you see you see you see people like I don't know Markiplier, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye. They're just like. Yeah, I'm just gonna say this word a lot in this video, and they're not, and they're, and YouTube's not gonna do anything. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't care about the YouTube algorithm. I, I'm not, I'm not making money off of this. So, That's what, so, I don't plan on making money off so, of anything. So, well. so feel free to swear if you want. We, well, I mean, we already swore early, or a, a little bit, but yeah, no. you don't. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But I'm a. I had a, cr I had a crush on um this one chick on or these three chicks on bleach 
when I first started watching it, and I was like, oh no. Two of them were about the average 16, 17 year old girl from, well, Earth. And then I found out, and then I found out that there's this one chick who was like over, I don't know, 60, 70,000 years old, and I was like, ew. Well, well I mean, just... uh, <laughs> that was a bad making joke, but nah, but, um. But I, but just from you saying it was Bleach, I bet you I can guess which characters it was. All right, go. <laughs> was one of was one of the three y- Yuruichi? Oh, that was the definite. She's like she's like my number three favorite character. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that like I I've I've seen this character. I can just tell from her design like she. Both her main characters as my favorite characters because well. They got plot armor, and plot armor sucks. Mm. Uh, uh, then, um, then I can bet, um, I'm guessing you're, oh, God. Uh, I'm guessing your, your second favorite was, um, that one orange-haired girl. Or he man Uh... You you know way or however you, however you want to pronounce it, it's weird. Uh, it was. I I think it I think it was that uh, the the only orange haired characters I can think of are Ichigo and then Orohime Inoue unless there's one more. Yeah, uh, was it Orohime? Yeah, there's two. Yeah. And was the other one Rukia? <laughs> I mean, did you say yes? No. Oh. I didn't. No. At that point, I was just like, eh. Like, I, I was watching with a bunch of friends, and they were like, oh, she's pretty cute. And I was like, yeah, but she's flat chested. And they were like, you can't just discriminate like that. And I was like, I just did. No, wait. No, wait a minute. Was, was your third. Was your third, was the third female character that you had a crush on? Was it one of the villains? Yeah, that one. The last, the first one was. Well, there's, Run, there. Well, uh, Run Geek was okay, but I didn't. Yeah. There was, Orihime, Yuruichi, and then I believe it was um. It's was it Ty Harabel? Yeah, I think it was. I think I think it was her. A wrong uh, she, she said, she said heck of, she said heck it's time to burn down the church. She said heck of busty chick in the series. Or like, um, her entire... Ichi, put him in a bikini? That's, that'd be fucking great. <clears throat> Great, that's <laughs> like a horny Damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, um, oh, it's already. What was it's your ar- introduction to anime? Huh? What was, your, what was everybody's introduction to anime? My introduction to anime? I, I, know, I know Rook was in uh, a Weeb at one point, right? Yeah. No, no, I just watched Dragon Ball Z on Cartoon Network and then bought the game. Mm. Uh, uh, and then God died a little bit more. <laughs> when I first started, that I first started watching was um was actually uh I wonder can I find it in, in my in my list on Hulu? Not sponsored. Mm. Um. Uh, uh. I mean, uh, while you're thinking, I just want to say that um, uh, my introduction to anime was uh, uh, back in second grade, where my brother um, uh, introduced me to Dragon Ball Z Kai, and that was at least the first official anime that I saw, unless you count Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, my f- my first official anime was either Naruto, Bleach, or Baka and Test. I was about to say, if you say One Piece, that's like one of the big three, <laughs> or big, no, the big four now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's what it is. One of the big three. Yeah, 
My my what? brother my brother's a so, big Naruto fan. Honestly, it is it is on the, it is on Hulu. Uh, because I ended up watching uh, the original <laughs> Dragon Ball with my older brother, and then right after that, my uh, my cousins were like, "Hey, you should watch this uh, Yu Yu Hakusho," and I'm like. Oh, my brother loves Yu Yu Hakusho. Like, I think the series is like, already right, has an awesome story, but like, it is not. It is a really good story, but like, I wouldn't like say it's like the best shown in manga, to, or at least not the best shown in jump manga to ever exist. I was like, eh, they. I ended up watching it with them because well, they wouldn't leave me alone. So I was like. You know what? Screw it. Fine, I'll watch it. And I ended up watching it. And now I'm like, oh crap. Like I did a bunch of people. Like my friend, mind you, I was watching it. Watching this with a bunch of girls, oh. and they were all over uh, Kurama or Kuwabara or Yusuke. And then I was just all like, what is up with chicks liking guys that either have A red hair, B orange hair, or C black hair? And then what is up with people completely forgetting about one of the one of the strongest side characters there is they're all like who's that and i was like kie kie would literally <laughs> literally beating the living crap out of yusuke yes he would, you know, crap out of kurama out of kuwabara he would have killed them all if it wasn't thanks to the main character having that stupid spirit gun yeah <laughs> oh wow Plot armor. And yeah, like, oh, pretty yeah. much. That's 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 called the life of protagonist. That's called the life of protagonist. I don't care. They need to stop giving the main protagonist plot armor. If the character dies, let them die. If they die in the beginning, there's something wrong. Right. <laughs> if they die in the beginning, there's something wrong. Right. You've made a bad character. <laughs> um, I mean, well, well, I mean, like, he, um, well, Yusuke, um, seen, no, no, I've, I've Yusuke some... dying at the beginning of, a uh, Yu Yu Hakusho was a part of the plot, so that would, so I wouldn't exactly say that his plot armor, but, I mean, like, having him, like, su having him, like, survive a whole bunch of certain stuff is, I guess, you can consider plot armor. I mean, look, he was literally <laughs> about to get killed by Hie until he's seen the freaking whatever it was, do that little glisten, and he's all like, oh, hey, look behind you. Spirit gun. Yeah! Shot the mirror, and it was hitting the guy, and it ended up hitting here, I'm guessing. Hey, bro. Apple. Hey, yeah. Apple. What? Spirit gun. <laughs> Did you just make a freaking annoying orange reference? Cursed. Cursed. Yes, cursed. Yes, cursed. 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 No. I was okay. I was like, I know there's going to be some, there's going to be, there's going to be something here. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, it's just all like, really, guys? Do you guys have to like them? Like, if the main character did, I was well, even if they didn't have their special, their their power, it wouldn't matter because well, they would still beat the living. The main character would still get the crap beat out of them. I'll, <laughs> then they ended up all like, well, Goku has just... this plot armor, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> and I was like, Goku is tech is is not is quote no he, he's a super character. no one of the problems that be a super saiyan that uh, uh, well what wasn't did they mention it in the in like uh the manga in the, in the manga like uh, they're supposed to surpass their limits right yes they're meant to do that they yes the the one, the one of the current problems with uh, Dragon Ball in the current manga and the series in general is, um, is uh, something that a lot of fans call power creeping. As at this point, everyone else besides Goku and Vegeta are now pretty much becoming useless. Like, I mean, they... they oh, were... Krillin was always useless. <laughs> Yamcha was always useless. Yamcha existed. Right? I there is a I character know, named Yamcha. Dragon Ball. All I know is uh, Krillin, and he's and he's sort of, uh, and made a he made an android pregnant, right? That's called an achievement. <laughs> that's that's called an achievement right there. If you can get a freaking machine pregnant, Android <laughs> eighteen wasn't a complete machine. She was a human with right. Uh, so what? so she's a droid. She's an android. She's a cyborg. She, she's yes, a cyborg. cyborg. She's cyborg on steroids. Cyborg. <laughs> 
when Cyborg's brain gets tired, Cyborg shuts down. Android 18, on the other hand, I'm sorry, but she would literally... If Krillin had that same stamina that she does, those two would be going at it all night. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 Im just imagine Marin in in the other room, just hearing a whole bunch of bumping from their from their parents' room. Making music. Da, 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 da. <laughs> just compet. Just, no, just the Dragon Ball Z uh, action, like competitive music, like. Dang it! Dang it! How did? I don't know. Like the music that would play during the the Saiyan invasion uh, uh saga, like the music that would play during that fight, that ends up playing during uh Krillin 18's uh bedtime fun time. <laughs> I keep getting what if Krillin wished wished to be a Saiyan? And people now, have made people made what if videos about that. There there I, are. I don't like what it. Did he, did he wait? Did he make a? Wish? What was his wish? He made a wish to uh, take the uh, bombs, take the bombs out of Android set. Uh, Eighteen 17. and seventeen. But did you know that Android seventeen and eighteen aren't actually seventeen and eighteen? Yes, 17. I know. Their names are Lapis and Lazuli. Well, I was gonna say in the manga, uh, Android eighteen is Android seventeen, and Android uh, seventeen is Android eighteen. Ah, oh, that is manga. that's that's confusing. I, I know so, the. What was the point of that then? <laughs> the they're both twins. So they're both the same age. So I don't really see the reason of like mixing up the numbers. Uh, I really don't want to get around watching Dragon Ball. Yeah, wait. Uh, uh, I would. Come on, watching Dragon Ball Super. Well. If you hey, want to, go for it. Hey, man, I'm planning on watching through One Piece. So if I can watch through a series that long, then you can watch through freaking Dragon Ball. <clears throat> Excuse I me. I, wanna... I hate it when people tell me that Dragon Ball GT isn't canon. Like, yes, I get it. It's not canon. All right. But if you're so cool. Brooklyn and Gogeta back, if you're right. going to bring Brooklyn and Gogeta back, you yeah, better like, like, bring it back. So no, like the thing is that like I will say that um for years people have talked about how crappy Dragon Ball GT is and yes I get that but like um over time like it it, it has shown that it does have certain qualities about it that that are pretty cool and entertaining and can be done well it's just that a whole lot of the series has a whole lot of issues when it comes to the story that really makes fans hate it like. Like how they turned Goku back into a kid and ended up making him weaker. So all the progression he gained over the years, well, like went went to nothing. If you want to about it, Goku wouldn't have any, even been able to go Super Saiyan yeah. in his kid. Right. His energy, out his tail would literally be zapped in a matter of seconds. So in other words, he would have to transform and then end the battle as fast as possible. He wouldn't be able to transform and then stall out the battle by flying up in the air and charging a full power Kamehameha. No, he would have to char he would power up, transform, <laughs> literally just vanish in front of the opponent and beat the ever-living shit out of the opponent in a matter of seconds before his energy is zapped out. But and then taking into consideration, Super Saiyan, it, Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3 is even worse on your muscle, or is on even worse on worse in the muscle than Kaio Ken. Right. Um. You guys are talking about Super Saiyans and all that. I just want to tell my story of how uh, I have I w of how I awaken my sexual appeal towards anime women. Oh, go for um. it. Sorry. All right, go for it. But, uh, I'm about to sit back and listen to this. Tell, please, tell us. Continue. Yeah. So, uh, my uncle, uh, uh, I was I was at home playing some video games on my console. Uh, I would be concerned if you were at school. <laughs> uh, my uncle uh, came in uh, one day because my oh, this grandma. Oh, the bad part happens. My, Sweet my home, Alabama. Alabama. Sorry, continue. 
Uh, Carrot. Basically, uh, my gr uh, my grandma uh, runs a adult home, and my uncle comes help. Uh, adult home? Uh, every so often. What do you mean by adult home? You know, like a uh, home for elders or something like that. Oh, an elderly yeah. home. Okay, like when yeah. you say the dog, I mean like your grandma owns something like a brothel or something like what? Bro. <laughs> a nanny. Uh, most most of the people. Uh, uh, I should say that my old house, was, uh, it was being occupied by, by the adult home, so we had the basement to ourselves, and uh, the, the top half was to the adult home. So every so often, I would hear. Out here, ah! at five in the morning. Yeah. Oh God. That sounds yeah, like a brothel. Because most of them were special. Oh, special. the elder. Oh. Oh, oh, the elderly people had some mental issues. Okay. So, my uncle came down. He was busy. Uh, he was done with everything, and he. Uh, uh, asked me, oh, have you watched this, watched this yet? I, uh, I said no. He introduced me to Bakken Test. B Bakken Test? Which is, uh, a high school romance anime where, uh, the grades relate to fighting. Basically, the plot of the anime is, uh, in, there, there's a high school going through a beta test. Oh, Baka Test. Ba Baka. the living crap out of people, and your grade goes up. You got it. No, <laughs> no. You, you, you sounds do, like the perfect school for me. You do work, like take tests, and then that's your power level in the game. <laughs> Steve gets oh, almost... power level nine thousand. It's over nine thousand. Oh Ow. crap! Then it, okay, then my power level would be freaking low with my grade. And there are certain ranks you can you can do, but, but all of that is irrelevant because all that matters in that anime is Poopa. Yes, I, I've I seen this anime. Well, I haven't watched the anime, but I've seen clips of it. Like, is isn't that that anime with that really really horny lesbian chick? What? Oh, oh my that girl. The the girl with the spiral hair. Oh yeah, definitely. And then it also, um, and then it also has that boy who keeps getting mistaken for a girl. No oh God. Oh. Also oh, known as a yes, trap. I love him. I love him. <laughs> I knew you were gay. He's better. He's better than the most of the characters in the in the franchise. Yeah, I, I've seen clips of this character. Um, I think they're the um uh voice of reason character or down to earth. Okay. Yeah. Voice of reason, but he he never gets taken seriously. Yes, exactly. Every, every time they're the straight guy, they're the straight man, which is ironic because they keep getting mistaken for a girl. The 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 best the best thing about the show, I, in my opinion, is that it just is there's just just there's just mostly bro uh, bro moments in there. Yeah. Uh, with with uh an exceptional amount of fan service. Right. Um, speaking of fan service, no, uh, speaking of fan service, um, uh, what, what is your opinions on, uh, High School of the Dead? Uh, I that... watched it, so I can't have an opinion on it. Oh, okay. dude, dude, if you think any series has fan service, wait till you, there's full episodes up on YouTube. You, you can, you can... They're all in, I, they're I, all in stuff. I, I gave up watching it, uh, uh... Uh, when the first episode, uh, when I started watching the first episode. Okay. So, for, mainly for two reasons. One, I was introduced to it at school. Two, I was oh. watching it at school. <laughs> oh, no! Hey, what's a better place to watch a series called High School of the Dead than at high school? Definitely nothing I, suggestive in there. I ended up watching High School DxD in class with headphones. My teachers, all my teachers, back in seventh grade, they would literally walk up behind me and just be like, "Hey, what are you watching?" Oh, I'm watching this. <laughs> and then as soon as I looked up, Titty. all they see is titties. They're just like, <laughs> "You can watch that in class." I'm not doing nothing, mind you. My desk was moved from 
the front of the class to the back of the class towards a corner. And she's all, <laughs> my teacher, she's all, you know what, let's call her, I don't know, Miss T. Miss T's all, you know what, if you're going to watch that, you're going to move all your stuff from this desk to the desk all the way back in the right-hand corner. I'm like, the right-hand corner has the, has the, uh, has the uh, door. She's like, okay, if you're gonna do that, move it to the left-hand corner. The left-hand corner is your desk. Okay, move it on to the right-hand corner, or the left-hand corner, <laughs> all the way on the other side of my classroom. That's basically right in front of my desk. And I was all wide so you can see me grab my crotch. She's all, what? And I was like, nothing. Fine. You I'll really spoke to your teacher like this? I didn't care. This teacher hated, hated. This teacher hated my damn guts. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna talk. If she's wanting, to, if she's gonna make me move my desk from where I'm comfortable at and where I can't see the damn board when she's doing, when she's correcting the homework, this is bullshit. So you know what? I'll talk to her this way. Still, like my, like, fall I'm night. Take... Still, that's pretty extreme. Like, not even I would have the guts to do. I got kicked out of that class and got moved to a different class. So the other teacher, he's all, "So what'd you get kicked out of this out of your other class for?" Talking to a teacher disrespectfully, he's all, "You talk to me disrespectfully, I'm going to kick you out of my class for the rest of the year." And I was like, "Where do you think I'll go?" He's all, "Probably sit in the principal's office." And I was all, "The principal hates me." So does <laughs> vice. Every single teacher <laughs> just hates your guts. Yeah, every single, every single point, teacher yes, wants you dead. Like after I, after I got out of their out of their class and I my freshman year I went to go visit some teachers that were I was still on good terms with, and they were like, "Oh, we miss you. We want you back in our class." And I was like, "No, we don't." But I will come into your classroom reeking like pot on purpose. But that was freshman year. Now I'm just like, "Yeah, I'll walk in. And I'll smell someone." Okay, I don't care now. Okay. You ever cool. do you ever just have that one kid that just smells for some reason? Oh god. I had this one kid. We called him um I don't want to say his actual name. Well, we called him annoying, but then um, we also put his actual I don't name. Like that. Sorry, go on. Uh, you know what? I was just watching something spreading on my game. We ended up, we all, all, me and all my friends at that point called him annoying, and then his real name. You know what? I don't care if he sees this. His name was Daniel. We called him an annoying Daniel. Like he pissed me off one day so bad. We were at lunch too. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> my freshman year at lunch, he walked up to me. And literally grabbed my tray and slid it off the table. So mind you, not only I got sent home for cussing a mental kid out, but I also oh. got sent home on three weeks suspension uh, for yeah. beating lips out of this kid. Uh, well, I mean, that was a bit much. Like, I mean, like, did he do it on purpose? Like, yes, he uh, did it on purpose because one of my buddies ended up walking up to him and dumping a carton of milk on his head. And then they blamed it on me. Right. So not only that, but he threw the first punch and said, "This is for having your friends dumping to dump a cart, dumping my chocolate oh, milk." On okay. Head. okay. So it said he had he had uh, he was mentally handicapped, right? He was. I didn't even use much strength. I barely hit him like twice. And it was, and it was still like. The report said that I. That I beat the living shit out of him, and that he ended up in the hospital, which he kind of did. I, but it was because he broke his own arm. Oh. Mind you, I I punched. I punched him with barely any pressure. He punched me as hard as he could, but each time, he broke his arm by punching the wall that was right behind me. If you know there is a wall behind you, behind the person you're about to punch, are you going to punch that wall or try to punch them as hard as they can when they could literally either lean to the left, lean to the right, or just duck? Me personally, if I know there's a wall behind someone and I know I'm not, I'm they're gonna dodge. 
I'm gonna grab them and then switch places with them and then punch them. Because if I punch that wall, it's gonna it'll be hurt. even worse. It'll hurt. It'll hurt them. Well, it'll hurt me, but it'll hurt them worse. As soon as I'm done cussing, cussing myself up, punch the wall. It's like, yeah. No. <laughs> Still, you shouldn't have gotten so violent with, like, with, like, the... And he starts... Says the man who poured orange juice in another man. Yes, but the thing is that <laughs> the dude who I punched <laughs> didn't have any mental issues. I mean, wasn't mentally handicapped. But I, mean, he, he, I don't think that makes it much better. He started it. I finished it. That's all that matters. It's really when you when you're in a situation where like when you're in a situation where things are getting tense with somebody who is on who is mentally handicapped is best to like. Talk to like some sort of teacher or authority. Like, is there was there somebody you could talk to about that in the lunch room? Like, no. Wait, have you have you just heard his stories? I don't think he has. I don't think he has that patience to do so. <laughs> Still, I really don't. The lunch ladies were all like, "Are you just gonna let him just slide your tray off?" And I was like, "Yeah, I actually am." Why? Because I get free food now. Mm. And I was on besides that, I got a party next next class. <laughs> and the class after that. All we're doing is sitting sitting down and eating pizza and for I don't know, eating we ate cake and ice cream for someone's birthday. I have no clue why. Like I was so excited to learn the lecture to learn the next lecture the teacher was gonna give us, I was just like oh, this is gonna suck. All right. Um, um, we were talking about some bullshit. He ended up telling us a story when he was in the military. He pulled a ketchup bottle and a deli and one of the Dell pickles out of some, out of some guy's rectum. The, he, I was like, don't even ask. He's like, don't even ask. Oh my. He's like, I got drunk last night. And I do, and I, he's like, I do stupid shit when I'm drunk. And I'm like, when he said, um, I think of putting a pickle in your uh, rectal cavity is uh, more than just stupid. For <laughs> talking. All the girls in the class were like, ew, that's nasty. Us guys are just like, huh, that would have been funny to see. <laughs> Except this one kid, this one kid, oh my god, you couldn't even tell if he was a guy or a girl. D oh. Like He'd walk in, he'd walk in all talking like a guy, dressed like a guy. He'd even sag his pants, too. And then the next day, he'd walk in wearing a spaghetti scrap, strap t or spaghetti scrap tank top. And then he'd even walk, he walked in one day wearing a Jared. mini He walked in wearing a mini skirt, and every guy was like, huh? Are you like, sure even, the... I was on the verge of vomiting, and I was like, I'm like, are you okay? He's like, what do you mean? I was like, you dress like a guy one day. You act like a guy one day. You dress like a girl, and you act like a girl one day. Are did, you okay? Did you they know? also look androgynous? Did they also look androgynous? He looked really feminine as a, for a guy. No. Oh. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't even know how I'm friends with you. Like, <laughs> I was friends with this guy, and then I'm just like, like I went to my chair, to my desk, lifted my desk, and walked out. No, uh, set my and set my desk right next to the door, and I was like, uh, I was like, oh god, I don't want to do this anymore. And I was like, I do not want to be in this class. I, I, I think they, very... I think they might have been a part of the. I think they might have. I think they might have been a part of the LGBT plus community. The I could see. I could. I could see Bryce just blue screening. Bryce, <laughs> <laughs> the has stopped working. Please, make Bryce. Oh, I can make so many jokes, but they're all terrible. Yeah, but um, uh, funny enough, um, back in back in uh first grade, um, there's this one kid in my class who. I also couldn't tell if they were boy or girl. They had, uh, they had like some pretty long eyelashes, and 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 their face could have them easily pass for a girl if they came in wearing a dress or something. Like, they could easily, <laughs> and so um, 
So because of that, <laughs> the <laughs> dang it, what was it? And the, uh, oh, one and I, I and like because I, I and like again I was in first grade, and so like while I obviously wasn't exactly smart, I did I was well aware enough to know that. I can't just ask somebody if they are a boy or a girl because I know that would be rude and I would most likely get told off to the teacher. So I was just trying to, and so, and so, and so, and so, in my, and so, in my first grader little mind, I was like full on trying to go full on cosmic brain, trying to think of a way on how I could ask them if they are a boy or a girl. Oh, hang on. Oh, you like guys? Uh, oh like hey, girls? we also, hang on a second, we got our, um, uh, we got our fourth, uh, we got our fourth member of, uh, the Sword and Spirit podcast, they arrive, um, kinda pretty late, we're very, very... What do you mean fourth member, there are already four of us here. No, no we, we got Dracula. Uh, let, let's welcome Dracula, guys. <laughs> welcome, buddy, you're right. <laughs> Pretty late, but um, oh, yeah, Jack, yeah. but up? uh, we might also have the podcast go on for two hours, so that's good. We, oh, it's already past, it's already past four o'clock. We, and I'm just getting so I'm, I'm gonna wait till five, five, I'm gonna wait till oh, five. Didn't we have been recording for exactly one hour and 26 minutes? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, it's, I'm, it's been recording for one hour and, thir- and almost 30 minutes. It is 4.29 right now, so it's it's almost basically an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> Dude, I have to get to a stream today. I, I can't do this, man. Uh, all right, Dr- Dracula can take your place for the rest of the podcast. Are you all right with that? It's all trash. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, um, yeah, you missed, you missed some stuff. Um, we were, ta- we were, we were talking about, um, some we ended up talking about a lot of, school a lot of, sto- of yeah, things in our, that revolved around school. Yeah. Some guy ended up being bisexual. And I think, actually, I did find out if this guy was bisexual or not. He was bisexual, and I was like, stay away from me. He's all why, and I was like, I don't. I don't, I don't swing for guys the way you do. And I was like, he's like, what do you mean? And I was like, I can have, I prefer to have guy friends, but I will not go straight up. Like, hey, will you go out with me? I was like, I'm straight. I was like, I'm straighter. Man, you can still be <laughs> friends with them. You can still be friends with them, but um, uh, but a fall night, but a fall night. This is I'm kind straight, of awkward. I'm but, but um, but um, funny. This is kind of awkward for you to say because um, uh, Dr- Dracula is actually a bisexual. Yes. <laughs> but uh. Oh well. I don't put up with snowflakes. <laughs> I don't care if like that offended anybody. That was a funny joke. Yes, that was funny. I laughed. Yes, I found that funny too. <laughs> <laughs> you find it funny just strictly for the fact that like you said that right in front of Dre and I go uh, um uh, probably, like I really I don't mind people making fun of bisexuals yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <More> people <laughs> yeah, but... if, I, if, I, much, if, if, I, if I say it's fine on this story, then you can probably do it uh, okay uh, but yeah um yeah, this is how Dracula normally sounds, bro. But yeah, so, well, well, once again, welcome Dracula, our, 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 our gator from the down under. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> But yeah, but before you before you jumped on, I was uh I was actually uh, talking, I was actually uh, telling these guys about um the about um the time back in fourth grade where I where there was this kid in my class who I could not tell if they were a boy or a girl. Um, eventually, like after trying my best to think of a way to ask them that wouldn't like offend them or get me into trouble, I just 
I just eventually gave up and just one day asked them at one point, are you a boy or a girl? And obviously, they ended up yelling to the teacher what I said, and I ended up getting, and I ended up getting in trouble. But um, I think at one point I ended up, I think at one point I did end up seeing them in the boys' bathroom. So I think I ended up getting my answer. They look, they look very androgynous. But, uh, but Dragulet, right. you, you should have been here earlier. Um, we were talking about, uh, we were talking about, um, uh, love, lo love, rejection English. stories. You, 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 real quick, you got, uh, before we change the topic to something else, uh, do you got any love rejection stories, Drac? No, I've, I've, <laughs> no, I've never told anyone out. You I've never? I've just been that kind of guy in the corner. Oh. Uh, just, just, just like the meme, the, the, the meme where the, where the guy goes, they don't know I'm here. They don't know. They don't know that I'm a professional gamer. I don't it's know sweet, how to... now I should do a Lego voice. I don't know what to do. I don't, I'm gonna pick the, the, did you say you got a piggy, what? I'm in a pickle. Oh, pickle, okay. <laughs> Where people were busy. No, I mean the beginning the beginning was trash. Yeah. And carrot. Okay, I think I now know how this works. As long as we don't say the T word, he won't say carrot. Carrot. Gosh dang it. Okay, apparently even if we mention the T word in some way, he will still say bitches. Nice. That's that no, it doesn't have anything to do with carrots. I disagree. <laughs> better Big eyesight booty. lets me see them better. Big booty Puerto Rican goddess. <laughs> Big badongas. <laughs> Big Just booty. like my uncle told me, with great power oh. comes great big booty bitches. He did not! Mm. He did <laughs> not say that! You cannot say that about Uncle Ben! <laughs> so has so what has silver hair, but can't dodge a bullet? Uh, An elderly uh, person? Uh, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. What can dodge? What can dodge a bullet? I, I know a lot of things that can dodge a bullet. And they said he can't. What well, can't dodge a bullet? I I said an elderly person. An elderly person isn't fast enough to dodge. Uncle to dodge Ben. A bullet. Hey, 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 hey! Strap a jet engine to that elderly person. Boom! They can dodge it. <laughs> yeah, if the jet engine can fire up fast enough. <laughs> it's a jet engine. It's not a rotary plane. Okay, man. <laughs> No, we're not gonna be seeing that. But um, uh, copyright. <laughs> oh, right, and, and Nintendo won't notice us. We're at the bottom. <laughs> then, um, say that. You say that now. Nintendo's gonna be like, <gasps> they're using our song. That's not right. It's like, well, crap. This um, video. Oh, I wasn't uh, even. I wasn't even trying to do that one. Right. Okay. Um. Uh, wait, I, oh, I know a topic. The funny thing is, with a bunch of Zelda music, because Zelda is still, is yes, maybe owned by Nintendo, but we can use their same for music as long as we give them the credit for it and not us. Unless right. we decide to film us. Mm. But, um, uh, Mix. I got a topic. Super Mario! No, uh, I got a topic idea. Um, What's the mo what's the most weirdest or creative names you can come up with for a fictional real with the for a fictional real person? And I know that sounds confusing, but what I mean is that an imaginary real life person, like well, like somebody who would be real, like a name a name for somebody who would exist but doesn't. Jim Bob the Third. Cumber Man. My son, uh, Mike. Um. My son. Mike. I I I'd say I'd say Frank Mitchell's. Hang on, just make sure that's not a real person. Frank Mitchell. 
angels. It sounds. It sounds like some. Mm, oh yeah, God! It's a real. <laughs> oh God! Apparently. Oh, <laughs> someone who isn't real. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he's apparently a prisoner. Who would name uh, X-ray? If he's not real, I can make up. I can make him up. Yeah. And just make it sound like the. You just have to make it sound like the name of a real person. Uh, Xavier Bennett. Uh. Um. Xavier Trudith okay. Bennett. Name. Name him Aragorn. Aragorn. Uh, Vanessa Cornelius. Cornelius. No, Vanessa Cornelius. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure about that one. About that, one. that one seems real to me. Vanessa Cornelius? Yes. I don't know. I'm... Who remembers Napster? What the heck's a Napster? Ro rotating grass. Oh wait, uh, since since we um have a Fall Night as a new person here, um, oh, no, Fall Night, no, no. we have a little game we like to play play with you on this podcast. No, 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 we don't. No, What's the crappiest lying. superpower you can think of? Turning people into gold. That <laughs> no, that can be made a profit off of. <laughs> yeah, it's honestly. As well. Honestly, that'd be counting. That'd be counted as murder. That's what Edward Edward does. <laughs> what a mystery equivalent exchange. You're you're like Midas. You're like, it's like if Midas like touch. Midas and uh, Medusa t uh, had a baby. Being Medusa. <laughs> <laughs> the crappiest superpower I can think of. Well, let's see. There's actually a lot of them. <laughs> um, I can think of one. Uh, you can use your tongue as an eraser. Oh, that God. sounds amazing. That would be weird. Just imagine the taste. That'd be really useful. <laughs> no, no, no. Imagine being in class and you say, oh, gosh darn it, I, I made a right mistake. And then, and then like, one of your classmates next to you just looks at you as you start licking all over your face. <laughs> like, like, you're the paper. Listen, okay? As long as, it doesn't leave any, as long as it doesn't leave any residue. That is a fantastic yeah, no residue. It acts just like an eraser does. It just oh no my god, that'd be amazing. I'd use that every day. <laughs> but you, <laughs> but you just do that in class right in front of people. Just like... <laughs> I just look at my math equation like, oh damn, I misplaced the B. All right, done. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it acts like an eraser. Uh, your tongue Taste will. Of a <laughs> your, your, your tongue would slowly disappear. <laughs> just, oh, no. Okay, okay how about like, it, it can be used like an eraser, except it doesn't like disappear like an eraser. That's the... You know what the worst superpower would be? <laughs> what? The ability to fly, but only Bang. when you're in space. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is the worst oh, no. superpower. <laughs> You know, I keep getting asked what would be what who if I could take anyone or anyone's superpower, if, whether it's from Mar whether it's from a Marvel movie or an anime or an anime. Oh, I, I I take uh Stony Stark's power, you know, being rich. <laughs> I keep I keep telling everyone, like everyone asks me, like if you could take anyone's power, whether it's from an anime or Marvel, I'm like, well. I wouldn't take anyone's. Why? <laughs> because I would train for it. <laughs> They're all like, so what? You'd basically be Goku? Yes, but on steroids. No, no, I got a better one. Like, I got a better. This is another Cubby superpower. You have the ability to defecate a five foot long sub sandwich. A sub sa okay, so Just do what sub one Subway sandwich? <laughs> yeah. Can't no, not Subway sandwich. It's just a, a five foot sub. Just, That's just what Subway normally does. I don't, I don't know what I mean. <laughs> just, just imagine being at a restaurant and asking, "Oh yes, I'll have the sub." And then the and then your waiter is like, "Oh yes, 
Okay, right away, sir, puts down your plate, stands on top of the table, pulls the pants down, and groans heavily as you see this complete sub sandwich just start pouring out of the rectal cavity as you look on in horror. You. What would you respond to that? English. What is one thing that you have done sexually that you would that you would be terrified if your parents even found out? Well, That's first of all, this is the moon. Um. Wait. What? <laughs> Masturbation. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I didn't. I don't think you can do anything with a carrot unless like, well. Interpret, except... interpret carrot how you will. <laughs> mm. I mean, you throw a carrot, you could. You could do a lot with carrot and demonetization just because I said that. So. Um. <laughs> uh, um. Well, I mean, like when I was seven, out of curiosity, I I put my finger up my butt. Okay. Why I, did everybody go silent? <laughs> my freshman year, um, I uh, the this chick was my girlfriend, and I ended up uh, I was over um at her house, and then. Her uh, cousin ended up walking up to me and asking who would I prefer to have, her or uh, my girlfriend at the time, or her. I was like, well, the thing is, well, me being the non-Christian kid that I am not now, well, that I am trying to be now, um, it was honestly having a threesome with her and her cousin. I'm just like, oh, great. I fucked up. So I was like, I'm expecting children now. So huh. Turns out they did get pregnant. Haha. Protections. Uh, um, uh, Random. About. Well, I mean, I don't think a lot of us here can relate because um, a lot of us here haven't really had had sex. I'm, I'm a this implies so many wrong things. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know about human trash. I can't speak for human trash. He likes to keep his life secluded, so I don't know. He, 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 he might have, he might have one carrot. He might have had some sort of one night stand with some chick. Carrot. But uh, but um, but uh, if it's okay to uh return to the topic of crappy superpowers, carrot. um, I just decided to go on Reddit and just look up some, and um, the fir and one of the first ones I see is. Your cum doubles as a hand lotion. Well, it already does. <laughs> Excuse I mean, me, what? <laughs> some guys already do that. <laughs> I'm not one of them. <laughs> I have a lotion myself. <laughs> Why? Right, back, to the, back to the topic, please. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, how about your ears are detachable. Oh, that sounds yeah, like an amazing power. You know, yeah, that can be useful. Like, you just get, you're in an argument with someone, you just, you just right in front of them, pull your ears up, put them in your pockets, and then walk away. Okay, okay, more like you put like a recorder next to, you, or you put your ear in like a place you're about to run in and just start doing shit, <laughs> and the enemy has no idea you're listening to every one of their movements and their words, and then at the last second. When they think nobody's hearing them, you bust in, and you do your job. Yeah, um... Why are you honestly, some sort of military soldier? I could think of a few very, very good places to pull my ears off. If oh, yeah? that was... If you, it has a... Oh yeah? Where would yeah. you get the ears back? Water true, parks. True. true. <laughs> How would you get ears back? I... Uh, uh, I you can just like I hate the and feeling I, of water getting in my ears, so I just love for the ability to just take my ears off temporarily and just like put them somewhere safe where I won't lose them, and then just go swim them. In. Food with water. Or what? When your teachers. Just, or when your teacher. If your teacher were to be um yell were to be yelling at the whole class for something that you did, so you just pull off your ears and, and the whole class just looks at you because you pulled off your ears and you're, they're just like, what the f 
No, no. I found and a better one. Just take thing to see if she could hear you. Uh, okay, I found a better one. You can shape shift by screaming at the top of your lungs. <laughs> if I could, if I could scream at the top of my lungs and shape shift, I would on purposely. I did. Shape shift into a chair because then I could be sat on. The, I don't know how good oh, 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 I, oh, you, you're in, you're, you're, you can't, you're a kinky little motherfucker. That'd be the best joke in the world if I had that power. <laughs> oh, hey, what are you gonna do? What are you just screaming about? I just, <laughs> and then I fucking scream, I turn into fucking Goku. That is a super saiyan. Then I fucking turn into a Buru. <laughs> <laughs> imagine being like goat. Imagine a Saiyan in real life. You know, it, it's weird. That hostage has been screaming for quite a while now. I don't know what he's trying to do. Suddenly, the wall bursts open. Forearms runs out. Welcome to the gun show. <laughs> Welcome to the gun show. <laughs> oh no! Close what? What? No, you shape shift into just a giant cock. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. If we can transform into anything, if we can transform into anything, can we transform into ourselves with objects? What the heck do you mean with objects? Like, okay, 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 like, think about this. If you yelled incredibly loud, and you could transform into anything, could you transform into yourself with an Omnitrix? Ooh, that, that's a good question. Because if you could do that, dude, I'm taking that power. Oh. Uh, okay. I want the Omnitrix, dude, come on. <laughs> Hmm. Um. What are some weird ways a uh, a person could die? Uh, fingerprints. Masturbation. Really different possibilities, but you, you, there are so many ways. I want you guys to hear. Uh, to. to oh, wait, I got, I got, I got, did you guys hear about the dude who stuck his dick in a printer, then got electrocuted from there? <laughs> 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 Stick my dick into a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> no, <it wasn't> <laughs> like, I mean, well, I mean, like, how hot was the printer? Like, I mean, like, we talking about a one or a ten? <laughs> well, that's shape shifting question, honestly. <laughs> I want you guys to imagine a scenario. It would be so you, you, you set, you sung, you spontaneously hear a, uh, a a scream in the other room. You don't know what's happening. All of a sudden, it goes silent. You go to the you go, to, uh, you go to the next room. You see a hole in the wall. You hear <laughs> you hear walls breaking around you. Next thing you know, you a giant Kool Aid man just pops out from the wall and just says, "Oh yeah!" <laughs> oh my wait, God! Wait, okay, okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, what if you heard screaming? Then suddenly the <laughs> just runs through the roof. What you once? Know, what runs through the roof? A Megazord. A Megazord. Oh my god. The <laughs> you, Megazords without the pilots. But um, but anyway, I want to kind of return the back to this weird death concept. I, I, like the, I, I like the printer one, but like, who can top that? Okay, okay, but hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, okay? Dying of shock. Wait, 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 you hear, like, there, there's some kinky couple next door, and then you hear scream for a few seconds, and then you hear, oh my god, I killed her. <laughs> and then you see this huge ass fucking, I don't even know what it is, just walk down the corridor like, I gotta find the cops, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that counts as a weird way to die. <laughs> a weird way to die, yeah. yeah. Oh, crap. Just like imagine it would it would be terrifying for everyone involved. Um. Uh. I'm concentrating so hard right now. Um, I get crap. I'm having a hard time thinking of a weird way to die. Um, I guess maybe having maybe having a million spoons shoved up your rectal cavity. Now, now that's just now that's just straight up foreplay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, De death so by foreplay. Mm -hmm. I... 
It's all, it's all fun and games till you get a spoon up the ass. I don't know where the fun and games begin. <laughs> everyone thinks it's gangster until 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 shit until until they actually have to do, do shit. And it's like. Huh. Oh, now the weird way. Ten comes howling around. So weird, weird ways to die. Well, let's see. There's just someone too being too stupid. Well, a way I could think of, as well. Someone just masturbating for some random reason. Just, just they're just jerking off and they just out of nowhere their heart just implodes. No, I know it's a like, weird way to die. Um, uh, having, having. A, a thousand fire ants crawl up your your dick hole. Oh, fire ants I hurt when they Oh no. Um. Uh. Actually, I know one last topic. Um. Uh, I don't know. Uh. Who's excited for uh the reboot of Clone High? It's going to burn. I. Uh, of course, I am. Uh. Shut uh, up, JFK. Get back in your Corvette and get shot. Uh, okay. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> bad ever happens to the Kennedys. Kennedys. Call uh, flips. Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys. <laughs> Man, I want to run for shot, class president. That's how they died. Man, I want to run for class president, but there's something stopping me. I don't know what. I'm just so... It, it's Abraham Lincoln and John Will and John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> John Wilkes Booth would I like to know your location. <laughs> someone's forehead. Yeah. Uh, what are um uh, what are some weird no! or Okay. Alright, uh, just to finish uh, the just to finish the podcast off, uh, what are some weird or obscure shows or video games you you guys have come across? Uh, it, there's this there's this weird show and, and it, it it it's really weird. It's really weird. Yeah, it's called Rook Live. Oh, uh, well, you had to get your yeah, sponsor in somehow. Damn right, I did. Um, probably the one I. I, probably the one, the no, weirdest one that I had this, to... There was this weird show where humans became squids. And I don't remember what it was about. <laughs> it, it just scared me. <laughs> um, no, there was this one cartoon I found called Fleabag Monkey Face. It is a gross out cartoon. And the, and the protagonist is one of the most ugly... <laughs> one of the most ugliest things I have ever seen. I uh, looked in the mirror recently. Yeah. The, this character. This character makes me question why humans were given consciousness. What? The what monstrosity? There's a Jimmy Neutron joke there, but I don't want to make it. What? Well, you're just. Who who hurt the person so much that they created this series and thought it was entertaining? Uh, I just want more. One more hint, up, boy. <laughs> You're right over there, buddy. God, this cartoon is fucking weird. Like, this character literally, this character literally flies by farting out their ass. Their entire, their entire abilities are gross out. Like, what? Why? Why is this ever made into a show? Alright, well, um, yeah, that's a good place to end it off, so, uh, th thank you guys for showing up for the podcast again. This, this started off very bumpy, and a lot of our members who, a lot of members of the, a lot of members of our group who, uh, said they'd be here, turned to, uh, uh, came on kind of late, and 
some of them just were kind of busy and weren't able to show up at all. But uh, I was just yeah, some of them were sleeping, some of them were busy. But yeah, this is still this is still a honestly decent good start to to the podcast. <laughs> Get the thing I wanted. Ugh. Hey, I didn't get the perfect podcast either, man. We, we all don't always get what we get. We always don't. There's... Don't we always don't we don't always get what we want? You got me talking confused. Okay. Um. Uh. But uh. Good night, folks. Uh, That's uh, all. Uh. Anything. Anything you guys want to say to the audience? Um. We're toxic. No, we are. No. Just know that I'm Australian. And everyone in this call is almost, almost American. Yeah. I am American. Leave me alone. I am a Jewish American. American. I'm black. I, I have one thing to say. I have one thing to say before this podcast. Son. Oh, God. He's going to pull up. This podcast is proof. <laughs> no. See? See what I mean by toxic? <laughs> We're toxic. End this. Uh, end the podcast right. now, Bryce. End it. Uh, end it. Right. End it.